So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. B.O.A. Many times men in this society, especially in these modern times, are convinced that they should be whatever a woman wants them to be. And what that also does is convinces a man that he should allow himself to be developed and shaped into whatever this society deems as acceptable based solely on women's expectations. So whatever women think is good, men rush to be that. Whatever men, whatever women think is bad, men shy away from that or shun it completely. Even if it's detrimental to their own manhood and masculinity. Or even health and wellness. Financial stability. Sanity. Now somebody sent me a video on IG, man. It was actually a post that uh, CGA shared, man. On his uh, on his IG, and it was um, it's this chick off TikTok, man. And what she said, man, was like so illogical, and made so little sense. And to hear that there are some men who are in this situation, and all they need to stay in that situation and view it from a positive perspective, no matter how negative we as men speak on it, one woman can come and validate a man for doing something that. All men that he's ever met is telling him, brother, you shouldn't do that. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now, the reality of the scenario is this, man. Men in this society are weak for women. Not just weak for a woman who's in their life. I, listen, I accept and, it's, and, and appreciate the fact that you can have a woman around you that's so good to you that you get caught up on her. I get that. You guys are getting caught up on women who you don't even know. A woman's opinion can either make you feel wonderfully about yourself it can make you feel terribly about yourself. We just had a big blow up about this rap chick that none of us ever heard of and none of us listened to saying what broke men shouldn't get. And men went crazy. Why? Because we are validated, whether positively or negatively, by what women say in this society. Let's take a look at this crazy example of that. And we'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. I respect any man who can heal a heart he didn't break and raise a child he didn't make. Now, what we see in this scenario, man, is a woman who doesn't know anything except this. I can dress up, put my makeup on, expose a little cleavage. And come on here and say anything I want to to these guys. And the beta male simp manginas out here will eat it up. The problem is, there are men like me, CGA, and other men who are hearing these very same things and exposing them for what they are. It's just a woman telling you what you need to hear in order to keep you in a beta male simp mangina mindset. Because here's the thing we know about a man who's willing to be in one of these situations. You are already living a life that proves you get validation from being appreciated by a woman. So if a woman says, I respect or I appreciate or I could see me loving or I think he's amazing or any descriptive term. That would make a child feel good hearing it from his mother or a teacher. You feel good about it. Why? Because you are in touch with your emotions so much that they have blocked you from your logical understanding of life. You can't make a logical assessment of the situation that you are actively involved in because you're too emotionally tied to a woman. And the more you become emotionally tied to one woman, the more influenced you are by every woman. So if your mom 
have this type of influence on you, you get out into the world and every woman you meet has that influence on you. You start living your life for what women like. You start living your life for what women accept. You start living your life for the adaptations that women make because of the world they live in. And that's why men and women dress so similarly today. That's why guys are out here preaching and promoting that you should pay a woman for her time. Like your time is worthless. Her time is so much more valuable than yours that your validation for living is to spend a little time with that woman. Now, I know some beta male sitting there, Johnny going to come in here and say, What did it be away? Oh, man, I got you now, that'll be away. Boy, I knew I was going to get you again. What did it be? It's May now. Who? May showers, that'll be away. I got you. Let me tell you something, that'll be away. You always talking about what a man ain't supposed to do with a woman, that'll be away. You always talking about that'll be away with a woman on the zero, that'll be away. You always talking about that'll be away. Well, you don't never say that. You always say give one what she earned. But anyway, that'll be away. You always talking about man, what a man ain't supposed to do, and a man ain't supposed to view a woman a certain way, and a man ain't supposed to jump through no hoop for a woman, and a man ain't supposed to do no trick like a trick pony for a woman. Let me tell you something, that'll be away. A man is supposed to do everything for a woman. He's supposed to put his life on the line for a woman he got to, that'll be away. You know the man I expect the most, that'll be away? Will Smith. He has shown these men how to put themselves on line for their woman that'll be away. And yeah, the woman may not appreciate it, but you don't do what you do for the appreciation of the woman that'll be away. You do what you do so the woman can know that she is a queen of your heart that'll be away. That's what you do that'll be away. See, you ain't got no queen in your heart that'll be away. You know why? Because you're a simp that'll be away. Unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe. So before you go, let me tell you this. You can put a woman on a pedestal all you want to. Just make sure her pedestal is beneath yours. See, I'm not telling a man that if a woman deserves something, you don't give it to her. I'm telling men, man, that you don't let a woman influence you to believe that she deserves something she doesn't deserve. And these men have gotten so bad that they're allowing random women to convince them that they should keep giving a woman something that she doesn't deserve. See, nine times out of ten, when a woman isn't with the father of her children or her child, it was because of her lack of ability to be who she needed to be or accept him for being who he was. Now, I know some of you guys out here are caught up in these situations that this girl says she appreciates a man who will mend a heart that he didn't break and a man who will take care of a child that he didn't make. Make and break is what this is. See, you can't mend a heart that you didn't break. The only man that can mend a heart that, that's broken is the man who broke it. You don't even know how the heart got broken. How you going to mend it? You don't know how to reverse feel on the things that broke the woman's heart. And here's the thing. A woman with a broken heart don't want a man who, ain't got a, who didn't break it to fix it. She wants it to be fixed by the man who broke it. Because guess what? If a man broke her heart, that means that her heart was attached to that man. And her heart ain't attached to you. She don't want you to mend her broken heart. She wants you to come through and clean up the mess. She don't want you to take care of a child that isn't yours. She wants you to take some of the burden off of her of taking care of a child that is hers. So you men got to stop being led astray by women. And how do you stop being led astray by women? Stop following them. Because any time you follow a woman, you're going to be led astray. Now, I know a lot of you guys will look at this little chick right here, man. She ain't the worst looking chick in the world. Fixed herself up pretty good. She cleaned up pretty good. But when she opened her mouth and said this type of stupidity, she started to look like a, the thorns in a rose bush where somebody plucked all the roses off. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. No woman can validate you. Because you're a man. How can someone who's never been a man doesn't know the burden of being a man, don't know the struggle of being a man, don't know the joy of being a man? Validate you as a man. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. You have to accept the fact that what makes you a man is impressing a woman. So in your mind, any man who has not impressed a woman is not a man, no matter what else he's accomplished in his life. And that makes you a beta male simp man, Johnny.
So what I want you men to do, all of you men who listen to this and say, yes, she's got our back. I want you to keep in mind one thing. She is a friend of your enemy. Because any woman who will want you to take on the burden of some man that you could never fully accomplish. Doesn't care anything about you except what you can do for her. And newsflash. The majority of women only care enough about you to get what they can out of you. And the real deal about this all is that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, a woman is going to get what she can out of you and never show any real appreciation. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic. Man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Trying to be